The aerospace industry is currently experiencing a lull, most notably due to the Falcon 9 landing. The suspension was made to facilitate an FAA investigation into the recent incident. Each of these events has impacted many operations. Recently, the European Space Agency, ESA, an organization independent of the United States, urged the FAA to restart Falcon 9 operations. The importance of the Falcon 9 cannot be overstated. But what exactly happened? Will the FAA make an unexpected decision? And how important is the Falcon 9 in the grand scheme of things? Join us on today's episode of NR Studio as we explore these questions. During the recent Crew-9 mission, the Falcon 9's second stage experienced complications that required it to land outside of its designated area. Despite this, the mission's primary objective was successfully achieved. Following the arrival of the Dragon spacecraft and its two astronauts at the ISS, SpaceX made the prudent decision to temporarily suspend Falcon 9 operations for inspection. This proactive step was essential to ensuring the rocket's reliability and safety. Maintaining rigorous standards is essential in the pursuit of excellence in space exploration. However, what initially promised to be a short delay unfortunately turned into a longer setback due to FAA intervention. This prompted an accident investigation, complicating the path back to flight. As a result, several upcoming missions, particularly those scheduled for early October, have been affected. One of the most significant events is the launch of the European Space Agency's ESA Hera spacecraft, which was scheduled for October 7. Acknowledging the potential delay, the ISA has stepped up its efforts to put pressure on the FAA. During a briefing on October 2, ISA officials confirmed that they are in the final stages of preparations to ensure Hara is ready for its scheduled launch atop a Falcon 9 at 10.52 a.m., Eastern Daylight Time on October 7th. Ian Carnelli, project manager for the ISA HARA mission, expressed optimism, stating, We will be ready to launch. We are optimistic that we will receive FAA approval by Sunday, October 6th. Carnelli stressed that the ISA is ready to launch the HARA mission as part of the Falcon 9's return to flight, rather than delaying it for one or more Starlink launches. We are diligently doing everything within our power. SpaceX is scheduled to submit their report to the FAA by the end of the week, and at that juncture, it will be in the hands of the FAA. I am optimistic that we will soon receive the approval to proceed to the launch pad and successfully launch on Monday. Furthermore, ISA has broadened the launch window, now extending it until October 27. Carnelli stated that the very stringent launch window we face compelled every supplier to give their utmost effort. It truly was an extraordinary project and I can only express immense pride in what we have accomplished together. On September 30th, ISA made a noteworthy announcement on its homepage, featuring a photo of the HERA team. This image was captured within the North Integration Cell of the SpaceX Payload Processing Facility, situated at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. HERA, subtly discernible in the background, with red tags affixed to its corner thrusters, has now been filled with propellant, as the next step, it eagerly awaits encapsulation within its launcher fairing. Despite the delays imposed by the FAA, ISA remains resolutely committed to adhering to their timeline. There are several compelling reasons that underscore the significance of this mission for them. The primary objective of this mission is to conduct a survey of the asteroid Didymos and its moon, Dimorphos. The objective is to evaluate the effects of NASA's double asteroid redirection test on Dimorphos. The DART mission, which was launched in 2022, successfully impacted Dimorphos, effectively slowing its orbit around Didymos. Hara is set to investigate the creators assembled by DART and gather additional data, with the mission scheduled to span six months following Hara's arrival at the asteroid in 2026. The significance of the mission resides in its potential to ascertain our ability to safeguard Earth against future asteroid collisions. Secondly, the HARA team has dedicated considerable effort to this mission. Initially, they faced challenges in securing funding, which forced the team to implement cost-cutting measures. Additionally, the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic further compounded these difficulties. By surmounting these challenges, they are resolutely committed to ensuring the success of this mission. Considering ICE's commitment, do you believe Falcon 9 will be back in time for the launch? Please respond with yes or no in the comments section below. To stay updated on SpaceX's developmental journey, 
please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us bring you the latest insights and updates. Once again, we are reminded of the pivotal role that SpaceX's Falcon 9 plays in the realm of space exploration. Its significance cannot be overstated. Given the magnitude of the mission I've outlined, only the Falcon 9, renowned for its exceptional reliability and versatility, can effectively rise to the occasion. Interestingly, Falcon 9 was not initially ISA's preferred option for the mission. Initially, Russia's Soyuz rocket was chosen for the mission. However, due to escalating political tensions, the ISA made the strategic decision to transition to the Ariane 6. This advanced rocket was collaboratively developed by the agency and the Ariane Group. Nevertheless, the setbacks with Ariane 6 compelled ISA to pivot towards Falcon 9, mirroring their earlier decision during the Galileo missions. This shift highlights Falcon 9's increasing supremacy over both domestic and international rivals. Although not everyone initially opts for SpaceX, when confronted with challenges, many ultimately seek out Falcon 9 as a dependable solution. The progress of Falcon 9 is truly impressive. Having exceeded last year's impressive total of 91 launches, SpaceX is now setting its sights on achieving 100 launches this year. Moreover, the company aspires to reach a remarkable 148 total launches by the end of the year. This indicates a remarkable ambition of over 50 launches in the upcoming three months. While this is a significant target, it remains achievable for a company like SpaceX, renowned for its determination and expertise. However, not everything lies within the purview of SpaceX. In the span of merely three months, the FAA has intervened on three occasions to suspend Falcon 9 operations, resulting in over 20 days of delays that have profoundly affected progress. It's disheartening to witness a bottleneck in the approval process, which impedes not only SpaceX, but also the progress of both national and global advancements in space. This slow pace hinders innovation and exploration at a critical time for the industry. Meanwhile, a number of other rockets and spacecraft, despite grappling with various challenges, have not faced the same degree of FAA intervention. This prompts the inquiry of whether SpaceX is being intentionally constrained to provide an advantage to other companies. Despite facing various challenges, Falcon 9 continues to serve as a key asset for SpaceX, while the company anticipates the full realization of its next generation vehicle, Starship. This will become increasingly evident when evaluating both the regulatory influence of the FAA and the current advancement of Starship. Concerning the FAA, if Falcon 9 is able to resume operations in the near future, Starship's return will likely encounter even more significant challenges. Flight 5 remains delayed until the end of November, thereby extending the timeline for the overall development of Starship. While it is possible that the frequency of launches will increase following a successful demonstration of the next flight, it is expected to take a considerable amount of time before Starship can achieve reliable launch operations and effectively cater to the needs of commercial and governmental clients. In the interim, the competitive landscape is intensifying. New contenders are arising, eager to seize the opportunities presented by the delays encountered by Starship. United Launch Alliance is expediting its Vulcan launch schedule, marking the CERTH-2 mission on October 4th as a pivotal milestone. Despite encountering some challenges during the flight, Vulcan remains poised to achieve military and government payload launch certification. Their progress continues to be promising. This would pave the way for stable operations, with ULA targeting dozens of Vulcan launches annually. Similarly, Blue Origin is advancing significantly with its robust preparations for the inaugural mission of New Glenn, which is set to launch in November. This flight holds particular significance, as New Glenn is designated to launch vital payloads, including Blue Ring, and may also execute a landing on a drone ship. These steps highlight Blue Origin's commitment to bridging the gap with SpaceX. Furthermore, Blue Origin has meticulously crafted comprehensive roadmaps for the upcoming years, foreseeing a significant surge in launch frequency. For these competitors, the persistent delays surrounding Starship, along with the challenges posed by FAA regulations, present a significant opportunity to enhance their own launch capabilities. This positions Falcon 9 as an increasingly vital asset for SpaceX in preserving its leadership within the industry. 
particularly as Starship strives for stability. The Falcon 9 possesses the capability to navigate and overcome any challenges that may arise. Its resilience and adaptability are unrivaled. With more than 370 successful launches, the Falcon 9's operational track record is unmatched. It may take years, perhaps most of this decade, for Vulcan and New Glenn to reach that number. In the meantime, the Falcon 9 will continue to launch at an ever-increasing rate, widening the gap between SpaceX and its competitors. The Falcon 9's launch rate is another area where it excels. In 2022 and 2023, the rocket reached incredible milestones with 60 and 91 launches, respectively, setting new records for the highest number of launches in a single year. With just three months left in 2024, SpaceX has already broken last year's record and is poised to improve even further. In contrast, it will take years for Vulcan and New Glenn to come close to achieving these numbers. The Falcon 9's incredible launch frequency has led to an impressive record of reusability with more than 350 successful landings. Each rocket booster has achieved impressive milestones, with B-1062 successfully completing 23 flights. Blue Origin, despite its ambitious aspirations, faces a long way to go to achieve this level of reusability. In contrast, Vulcan, as a non-reusable rocket, has no competitive advantage in that regard. The Falcon 9's established track record, along with its reliability and reusability, will remain SpaceX's greatest assets, ensuring its continued dominance as Starship progresses through its development phase. Here's how SpaceX will maintain its leadership position until Starship is cleared to fly and achieves operational stability. In the days ahead, we can only anticipate that Falcon 9 delays will be resolved, clearing the way for the aerospace industry to embrace exciting prospects once again. Many are eagerly awaiting Falcon 9's moment to shine. Furthermore, I eagerly await Starship's overcoming its current challenges and achieving a successful launch. The synergy with Falcon 9 has the potential to transcend current limitations, opening new avenues for human exploration. Well, dear listeners, today's episode concludes. Thank you so much for joining us. See you in the next episode.